I've covered Shorty Street. I've covered Sticky TV. What now? <laughs> I was absolutely obsessed with What Now when I was a kid. At the start of each episode, the presenters would come in on a bed, wearing NZ Music Month t-shirts, of course, even when it was an NZ Music Month, I feel like, and they'd kick the show off in front of some absolutely lit kids. The show was presented by some absolute icons. Jason Farfoy, Carolyn Taylor, Props Boy, and later on, Serena Cooper and Charlie Parnipa, whose fashion sense consisted solely of either a giant necktie or 20 neck scarves. As well as the presenters, there was also a gorilla called Camilla, who Jason Gunn recently revealed was played by Erin Simpson for a while. What the fuck? When I was a boy, I knew there was something about that gorilla. Something I just could not describe. I needed that gorilla. Mama, Mama, I want to make love to that gorilla. My favorite presenter though was DJ Vinyl Richie. He was the coolest presenter out there. Well, hello. Mama, I want to make love to that ogre. Me too. When Richie left the show, I was absolutely gutted. This is for you guys, like, it's not completely over. If you want to check me out, www. Please don't say Bebo Richie, please, no. Bebo.com forward slash DJ Vinyl Richie. No! He was quite a naughty presenter though, so he made a little disclaimer to us when he left. You know, I, I do come across as the one now gangster, but in no way, shape or form, are gangs good. Richie, it's way too late to say this, mate. We're all heading for gangs. Why do you think we're watching this show? shitty show on a Sunday morning instead of being at church. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now a massive part of what now was the gunge. The kids got really intense about it as well. Team Choir Boy! Yeah. Yeah. And how do you think you're gonna go guys? Great, right, thank you, let me say one thing. Ring Laura, you're going down! Run to the ground! <laughs> There was also a game called Flushed Away, where kids on the phone would answer questions and then two kids in the studio would get gunge poured on them. There was always like a nine hour delay on the phone line. Good morning, Anna. Hi. Hi Anna, how you doing? Kids on there were just so stupid as well. Sir John Harrington invented the toilet in what year? Don't! Green team. 1999? 1999? 1999? <laughs> um, Sometimes I honestly wish Charlie would just be like, are you an idiot? Never call this number again. Pull the chain. <laughs> oh. I was dying to win a prize on the show. I called 0800 001 001 every single week and never once got through. I don't know what these motherfucks, the tally ops, were up to, but they certainly were not operating the tallies, that's for sure. And how did you get to become a tally op? Uh... Um, I actually started at the Vodafone call centre and they told me you've only answered two calls this whole year, great job, you're getting a promotion. And they hired me at what now? There was also some amazing sketches on the show. Hey, don't mess with us. They had this sketch called Cat Idol at one point. Look, I don't know if you have a cat groomer, but if you do, you should sue her. This guy trained all his life to be an actor. He's like, oh, my big break, Cat Idol on what now? What do you think they're talking about? Best in show, 2007, to Mookman District Cat Show. Well, what do you think about that? I don't think that guy was an actor, actually. That sounded 100% genuine. I think this guy snuck on set to get his cat judged. At the end of the sketch, they had this showcase for all of the cats. Our next cat is... <laughs> oh, God. Erin, get down from there. You're embarrassing yourself. Oh, no. Nowadays, the show is presented by these guys. 
I have no idea who they are. They seem nice, though. Also, we have got some pony rides. And look at this, pink pony rides for the girls. Sorry, Camilla, you can't come on this because uh, you're a little bit too heavy. How dare you say that to Erin Simpson? Get out. These guys are awful. At least Erin's still there, though. Hey, Queen, hang in there, girl. You'll make it out someday. I feel like she's just waiting in that suit till one of the presenters has an accident or something. She'll jump out. Guys, it's me, Erin Simpson. Come on, come on, give me what you got. When Charlie left the show, though, they made him a list of 10 reasons why they would miss him. Some of the reasons were not very creative. Number 10, you were born in Kiki as Charles, no middle name, Panapa. Number four, your ability to cook and clean. And number three, the fact you look like Stan Walker. <laughs> Where are they now? Where did you go, guys? Charlie Panapa. Charlie has a YouTube channel now where he posts song mashups. He did one of Fergie and Jay Sean. He said, let me know what you think. Props boy. I think Props boy is married to Kanoa Lloyd from Sticky TV? What? Next you'll be bloody telling me that Jordan Vandermade from Studio 2 is dating Drew Nemia. Tumahi. Tumahi calls himself the Master Shredder now. No thank you. He's also turned into the worst type of YouTuber, the type that has a five minute long intro animation of a shitty logo that's on fire. Every second you watch it, it feels like 12 years. He posted this video, live workout with me. It goes for two hours. I'll give that a fuck no thank you. I skimmed through to the end. This is what happened. Thank you guys for joining us. He also got married to Serena from What Now? How many of these kids presenters are dating each other? DJ Vinyl Richie. He's gone. There's no traces of him anywhere. Wait a minute. Bebo.com. Bebo.com. Forward slash DJ Vinyl Richie. Oh my god. His other half is the penguin from Squirt? How many of these damn kids presenters are in love with each other? I'm out.